Hello everybody, again I will apologise on the onset that if I sound like my words are tortured and I'm tired this is like take 156 or whatever it is probably only 5 but you get my drift it's becoming a little bit frustrating and there's some really important things that I want to say to you but you know what it's like when you have to constantly repeat yourself you start to um, lose the will to live <laughs> so hi it's Vicky terribly sorry it's been a huge amount of time between when I did my intro to now we have had some very trying tech issues and uh, I would like to give a big shout out to my tech support um, that would be my hubby Graham so without him I probably would have no hair left and still trying to find my way out of the wilderness so thank you Graham for that now a part of what when I did my intro I pretty much forgot everything I was going to say because I had forgotten that I'd, I'd made a list a rough list I want to talk about so I will do that now uh, I'll have a little chat and then I'll chat some more while I'm playing so grab your stuff and we'll do a craft along together um, let's get this year started so I I started the YouTube channel for a few reasons personal reasons is because I loved I loved craft I loved to create um, I am always and have always no matter how bad I've felt um, as far as my health goes both mental and physical I have always got something in front of me um, whether it be hand stitching it doesn't matter what it is I've always been creative now my um, lovely husband Graham has retired he has got a workshop full of all sorts of really really lovely um, toys he's got a, a um, CNC router um, and he's got a laser so as we go forward if you think there is something that he could make that you're wanting um, shoot an email through to us and we can either Graham can say either yes or no as with me um, but someone told me a long time ago that the only question the only stupid question is the one you didn't ask so never be afraid to ask Graham and I you can get me through Facebook Messenger leave a note at the bottom of the video okay so what's happening is is we love to create and we're like I said Graham's retired now so we'd like to make um, we'd like to support our habit financially so we have a website set up just waiting for me to upload some uh, pictures of what we've got to sell at this stage of the game we're not even thinking looking at selling um, supplies basically we'll, we will be looking for um, an outlet for the things we make um, so that's that's our goal now the second thing that I wanted to be able to do that using the YouTube platform and my little channel I can um, give a shout out to not just Australian but in the beginning it will be Australian ladies that I have met over the period of time of getting into social media with my crafting um, I've made some beautiful friends I've made friends that have come and gone and that's okay too not everybody we meet stays in our life forever sort of like and, and that's fine we, we look after each other we care for each other and some come and go and others stay in your life now it won't only be the ones that stay in my life that I will promote I will promote anything that I see that I think someone is working really hard and deserves to get their name put out a little bit more in some small way I hope to be that person to help the first one is, is her name is Chris Pierce now Chris is probably the very first person that I came across that I we clicked as they say we get on very well together and that's Miss Pippa 
Miss Pippa's got her green mat here and she has to learn that she can't just plomp in front of my work when I'm recording. So she's learning as well now. Um, so Pink Cadillac, Pink Cadillac Crafts is a Facebook um, shop. Uh, Chris runs it out of her home. Um, she's very dedicated. She is very quick with her responses and with her mailings. Um, she has very competitive prices and she's just a very lovely lady who does care about what she does. Um, so Pink Cadillac, Cadillac Crafts and her name is Chris, Chris Pierce. Now Chris comes from a card making background I believe. So go in and have a look at her sh shop and if you need something that she's got her prices are very compatible. She um, is very good at what she offers. So pop across and see Chris. Um, tell her I said hi, but don't even worry about saying that if you don't want to. Chris hasn't asked me to do this shout out, so I'll have to remember to send her a link to it so she can hear me say thank you very much, Chris, over the years now that we've been... Um, doing business together and then forming a friendship a bit very special to me. Right, the second lady is Sue. Now Sue has a YouTube channel called Paper Inspirations. Um, and there is a Facebook that's called Be Inspired dash Paper Inspirations. Now the Facebook page is set up for people to put their creations on there um, and, and, and just be a part of a community. Now that Facebook page hasn't been going for very long and it is um, full of the most amazing, um, encouraging ladies. It is a very lovely, safe place for you to go. Now Sue, like I said, has her YouTube. Uh, she has a web shop. So you can go www.paperinspirations um, and it'll take you to her shop. Or you can pop in and have a look at one of her videos. I'm, I don't think you will be sorry um, if, you, if, if, you, if you do. She's, she's really very, very talented lady. And on Friday night she hosts a live. So if you'd like to get to know her a little bit better pop in on Friday night once again very very caring very genuine ladies that are coming in there so that's Sue a paper inspirations pop over and support her if you can she's building her business um, and she's trying very hard so she has things at compatible prices for us it's like we need to support these people okay so for us there will be a variety of different things that we will have for sale in our web shop. Um, like I said, handmade things that, you know, we just have to start selling them now, you know, make a little bit of a profit to support our habit and an outlet for things that we make. So I've been making these notebooks for well forever really I can't remember not making them and what I used to do is and this is a beautiful card that my daughter sent me from England um, for my birthday one year and it was such a beautiful beautiful card I didn't want to pop it into the drawer and just see it occasionally uh, it, and I make them into notebook now going way back when I used to do it out of Christmas cards so I used to make these out of Christmas cards I'd cover them and put some paper on the inside. There's a pocket there, but as you can see, my pockets, um, it's done pretty much. This book is exhausted. <laughs> this is this is how well they, they wear. So I've, I've got lined paper. This is going back a little while, so I wasn't quite as, um, yeah, I, I tend to only use the striped paper. And this is just card stock, bits of card stock that I had left over. Um, I, the strips of paper I just put on the end there to strengthen some of the pages. And it's just a list book. A book to go shopping with, a book to have in your bag with a pen. You can see it's really well used. Now in the middle I put an envelope. 
so you can put receipts in there that's very good and then when you're stuck somewhere and you sit to have a coffee or um, you got a little one with you hand them a pen and a piece of paper and off you go so that was um, some little girls art there and that we're trying to Graham and I were talking about something there I'm not sure what it was now um, so yeah just the only thing I'd say is just be cautious just be careful of how dark the paper you put in because that's almost getting too dark to write on um, so you might want to keep the, the yeah, just be mindful that this is a workbook um, and if the papers so I haven't written on that one either so if the paper's too dark it, it defeats the purpose so that's kind of like where it had got to now I've started making them um, almost like little journals but they're still notebooks so I've got two that are suitable for men and same sort of thing so pocket there got a little paper clip so that if whoever's got the book needs to paper clip something down I've got tags and, and a card there well you write on the back of them and then I've just gone through same thing any um, so that matches that so any you know bits and pieces that I've got left over so I've got colored paper in here graph paper um, a color page watercolor paper and I think some of them most of them have got tracing paper in them I've got them at the back and another um, paper clip there that you can see to use and in the middle I've got the envelope so that's the envelope to put things in there that you really don't want to lose so that goes in there so there's two that would be quite suitable for men I won't flip through all of them because they're pretty much the same so some of them are a little bit fancier and maybe a little bit more um, to buy um, this one I have to go in and strengthen that on the back see that one sliding in and out okay for some reason I haven't put a backing on that one I think maybe because I probably like paper so rather than have that an issue for whoever's using it I'll just pop a bit of card stuck on the back of it so you go along and with this one or this one's actually got the envelope that's finished so you will get a notebook this is a, a just an envelope that I've done and it's card so when you buy one of my notebooks you get the card so that's one that goes there I haven't made the envelope for this one for some reason so this is the card that matches this one and it'll it'll come in a little envelope so these are my notebooks so for thirty dollars you get a substantial notebook um, which is really quite interesting to go through um, where I've had color pages I've put color pages in now all the all the books can vary a little bit uh, depending on what I've got at the time like I don't tend I don't color in so I've been given color books or so I've picked them up at a reasonable price I thought to use them up I would put them in the books I've been doing that for quite a while so there's the tracing paper and this one is covered with the so if you know somebody that likes to colour this is a notebook end and actually you can do the colouring in it so that kind of fills two things there so if, like I said for $30 you get the notebook you get a card and you get white tissue paper to wrap your present in so it's one stop and then like I said very reasonable uh, price for a gift away you go so they're the main things that will be for sale but um, there will be other things as well as time goes on I have some aprons I made they're great for the kitchen obviously cooking but they're also excellent for when you're crafting and my hands are stained I'm sorry I spent yesterday tea dyeing um, I sort of like had this little block because you can see all this 
Um, I don't have good looking hands and in fact I was quite ashamed of them and thought I can't really make videos with these hands. And then I, so I was looking at them one day thinking particularly how ugly they were, like that finger is incredibly crooked. And then I got to thinking, rather than hating my hands, how about being really, really proud of them? For me, my hands have held babies. They've held the hand of dying people. Um, they've thrown a grenade and um, shot weapons when I was in the army. Um, I even drove a tank. Mind you, it was on a testing strip, but I had a drive. So I, I've put on soft little delicate shoes and I've laced up GP boots with them. So rather than be ashamed or embarrassed about our hands and what time and what our life does to them, maybe we should just be very proud of them. So I'm working on that. That's a work in progress. That It's really hard for us, isn't it? Now, I've got some other things that I want to talk to you about but this basket here this basket is just full of bits and pieces um, when I have a, I have some health issues well I'm actually really quite healthy but I have um, chronic pain my bones and I don't get along together so I have chronic pain and sometimes either from taking some meds or because of the pain I just not well enough to deal with a project um, so I have a basket with little bits and pieces in it for me to play around with because it is this is this is the way I cope with what's going on um, our daughter lives in England and as, as everybody knows it's been pretty hard all around the world but England was hit pretty hard so rather than be constantly texting her and and giving her one more thing to have to worry about i i do things like come and sit here and, and then sometimes i think oh she probably doesn't think i care but i love her very much i'm so proud of her i just don't want her to have the worry of me or i don't want to project my concern onto her um, but anyway, this is, so when I, this is what I do, I fiddle and I play, so I always have a basket with things on it. So while I talk um, about some things the way I think I want the channel to go, um, we'll start making something. Now I have videoed quite a bit that has all been wasted now i don't know what else i did on the other on the, on the other video but that that's there so just a minute i'll have a little drink so this is a little bag that i made out of tracing paper so when i said to you i put tracing paper in the book um, so I've got to stick that down. I actually did it back to the front, but I think I've pulled it off. You can see there where I've had to, um, I had this on the back. So I've just made the little book out of tracing paper and I've got like, this is the off cut. So it's a full pad of tracing paper and it's just a nice little size to do the bags. So that's how they come about from off cuts from my notebooks. Um, and as you get to know me, I, I love to play with scraps. I love scraps. I love playing with scraps. Um, I love everything about scraps. And I actually think sometimes I like scraps more than I actually like the pro project that I'm doing. So last time I did the little bag and then I just did the little, like an um, oversized matchbook and then just put some note paper in there. These are all off and then I've just... I stenciled that and I've put a circle on the back for where I've put the brad through and if you stencil it it's really quite it's quite difficult to pick up where it is so that and then I've just got a little um, brad with a ring on it and that goes up and around so we all know how to do that um, if not I'll probably be making some more 
and then I've just put a little embellishment on the front of it so we will I will grab something out these started out as little lolly bags that my, my friend Tanya sent me um, they were white now I set a way to get um, a couple of guillotines <laughs> and I didn't read the description very well and I ended up with a deckle edge one which I, I wouldn't think that it's necessary to buy one of these and I'm using it because I've actually got it because I made a mistake so I need to use what I've got because I will be going through I think there's going to be some some hard decisions made sorry about my head and my reaching over I um I don't say this to brag, I say this to, if you're starting out and you're watching me, I think that if I was to give you some advice it would be, just just be careful about, or just be a little bit slow about how much you buy to begin with. I'm just looking for a scrap. <laughs> me looking for a scrap, it's like, so this is my scrap my bits and pieces. I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute. It's funny I have all these scraps but I'm quite selective about oh no I won't do that. Oh here it is I've got another small bit here. If you've if you've got too much stuff and what can happen is not to everybody, but I find to me I'm starting to get a little bit bogged down because I have so much stuff around me. Now when you're, when you're cutting with these punches, there's, there's just, the little paper bag's very flimsy, so it won't cut. So if I put another piece of paper there and hope for the best that I've got it in the middle, there we go. So that just gives me a little thumb hole. Now, other things that I was going to talk to you about just as we work along, grab some stuff and craft along with me. Um, it's always, it always makes the time go a little bit quicker when we're with we're not no that's wrong we're a little bit more inspired to, to sit and do some stuff when we're doing it with friends and I hope that's what I become to you a friend that we can spend time with now there's been over the last few years and I think I've come up with some ideas and I'll <laughs> actually I'm so slow I, I don't know whether or not I've heard them somewhere else first or I think of it and I'm about two heartbeats quicker than the, the next person and they actually do it so what there was a lot of people over the last year or so have been doing the hundred makes you know the hundred a make a day for a hundred days trying to use up the stuff we've got. Now I belong to a um, private um, small Facebook page and I, I did the hundred makes but I abbreviated it to what I knew I could do and I knew never in a million years would I be able to do one a day just a minute, I'm just looking for my yes, some of that. Just fossicking girls, won't be sick, sorry. I thought I had some of this in easy reach, I probably do. I 
I've just had to do a clean up and a resort, so I'm a little bit um, unsure where some things are. So I know I've got some cheesecloth somewhere. It's always somewhere, isn't it? Oh, here we go. This will do. So anyway, back to Rebecca. Um, Rebecca at Dancing with Pitbulls, I think, her channel. Um, now she was the first person that I saw the idea of 100 makes in 100 days and I believe that the, the objective was to use some scraps up. Um, try and you know like we've, we have all this this stuff around us and we're not using it so she come up with the idea of a hundred well I think I think I think she did uh, come up with a hundred makes in a hundred days so, like I said, I knew that I wouldn't be able to do that, so I did a little, did a little bit of a variation on it. It took me 12 months to do a hundred things, but then some, some of it, I, um, I did like mass makes on them. So, my, my, my one a day or my project of one. Um, took took considerably longer, like a year, for me to do them all. And the rule I made for myself is: is once I started, um, I could, I, you know, I've no no restriction on what you can buy and what you can't buy. Um, buy buy whatever you want, whenever you want it. But once you start at the hundred days. If if it, if you bought it after the start date, you couldn't use it. So every make I made that went towards the the, the objective had to be stuff that I've, I've had in my stash. And I I think I believe that that was the objective that that um, Rebecca sent out to achieve. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to start again and I'm going to do a hundred makes that, uh, that come from what I've got here already and anything new I buy will not, will not be able to be used. Well, you can use them and you can, you can do, do, do a new project. You just can't tick it off. As one of the hundred items in a hundred days so now I said well, we're going to have a web shop I've also um, created a business business page Facebook business page um, it's created but there's nothing on there yet there's no content on there and I've also just organized a Instagram an account but I haven't started there yet either so as you can see where we've got everything to start and to get going I've, I've just got to try and connect all the dots now um, I sew and it's like you can't you can't film my sewing the machines too noisy and it's really not that exciting or inspiring sitting there watching somebody show it so I, I don't think um, I think if you're teaching it's great don't get me wrong I think that's good but I would be just sitting there sitting there going crazy getting some sewing done I've, I've got a very special young lady that um, I do a lot of sewing for and she's waiting for a fairy dress so I've uh, there's lots of different things I do that have me chasing my tail. I think sometimes I need to scale down what I try to do. 
Now with this bag, I don't know why, but it ended up coming unglued. So I'm wondering whether or not I actually did. Oh, here she comes again. Okay. Come on, hurry up. Come on. No, no. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Talk to the cat and I've got two dogs coming. Um, Cody and Pippa get on really well. Louis is a miniature fox terrier and we sort of got him because Cody was really quite lonely and they're the best of mates. Oh, can you see what I've done? I've just put that on upside down. So, anyway, that's... I'm going to end up ruining this. <laughs> oh dear. You'll get used to me. So, 100 makes talked about. Right. Now, I thought I came up with this on my own. But as I've sort of flicked in and around and backwards and forwards and what have you, um, I'm only one of many that are doing what's referred to as um, shopping your stash. I don't, I don't know about you ladies, but my... Oh, Graham's listening to this. I shouldn't probably admit to it, should I? But I think Blind Freddy would be able to figure it out. I am overstocked. I have too many beautiful things. Um, it, it makes it quite difficult for me at times because of storage. Um, I'm, I'm very lucky. Graham built me a storage shed, shed so the ac access can go out there. But what I'm actually thinking of doing is, is taking more out there and not in the hopes that I won't feel as as closed in in here because I have a lovely room um, but but yeah uh, I'm, I'm very blessed and I don't don't want to sound ungrateful uh, it's just that you know after a while it gets to be a little bit overwhelming and one of the things that it exacerbates my Oh, my supplies is I reuse. So when I when I first got into, because I always made the, the um, notebooks. Um, I haven't been making journals for as long, but I used to use bits and pieces. I used to save because you know back in the day I didn't have money to um, buy too many fancy things, and and I have always been a recycle person always um, so that wasn't new but the problem is is I was not the person that you say don't throw out anything it's everyone's got to use um, <laughs> that might that might be my Achilles heel there um, I, I don't tend to throw it's like I think I shocked Graham this morning he said I've got another porridge box for you and I actually said to him Mm, I think that one probably better go in the bin. I've, I've got so much. So we have a recycled bin. And he's like, mm-hmm. But I notice he hasn't moved it just in case I close my, change my mind. So, yeah, there's a bit of a joke in this house when I've got something to throw out. It's like, mm-hmm. Well, after all that fuss and bother, I finally got... Oops! <laughs> Pepper! Don't do that. You frighten me. Miss, I don't know if you see how much you saw of that, but Pippa just come charging in. Louie, go away, please. Just stop it. Just stop it. Just stop it. Yes, Cody, you're the good child. So I am literally surrounded at the moment with Cody, the Border Collie, Louie, the Miniature Fox Terrier, and Pippa, the cat. So you might be able to see Pippa, she might, she's just here. So she's just there, the other side of the mouse. 
so I've got a like a bath mat sitting up behind my machine right well that one's finally done I had to go back so now where are we up to on this one right we're decorating so yeah anyway I, I reuse I recycle and I do all sorts of things I, I, I know I'm babbling along it's okay you won't have to tell me in the comments but um, I'm just pain is a bit of a problem sometimes ladies and gents I'm sorry <sighs> so shop your stash I will be I will be doing that. I will be. I've got a tray, and I have done this. I have done that on the um, Facebook page. Uh, I've done some lives on there. I don't know that I will do lives on this channel. I don't know. I will see. I will see. I. I have been. You could say to me Vic I heard you say that no way would you ever do YouTube lives now and the trouble is saying never never does happen and I should have known better than to, to put it that way I think probably at this stage Sue, I was telling you about, she does an amazing live on Friday nights, so I'm proud that she has, well I'm not proud, I'm not boasting, I'm just, I, I just love that she trusts me and um, I'm, I help to support her um, as she supports me. So I think at this stage, I think the Friday Night Live that she does, I think um, she does such a good job of it. We may as well, well, may as well. I think it'd be a good idea, you know, do and do one thing and do it well. That sort of. But I know if I wanted to do a live, Sue would support me a hundred percent as well. But just for the moment, we won't worry about lives here. But what I thought I'd do is, is I'd shop my stash. I'll go around with, with my little tray, decide what we're going to do, and then hopefully put a picture up on the Facebook page, just or Instagram probably. I think I think I'm going to start trying to um, use this new account that I've got that's never had anything put on it. Um, oh, just one little bit of glue. Yeah, so just walk around and pick up some things and put it on the tray and then do a video on that. So that's that one. Um, I, I really do love scraps. I mean, this, this suits me really well. And you'll see that um, I have some very itty bitty little ones when I get going, when I start doing that. Now there's a lady, Corey, Corey Denham. Um, I hope I'm saying that right, Corey. She is amazing. I was, <laughs> I was really, really pleased. I hope you're not going to take this the wrong way, Corey, but um, I was so pleased when I found you. It made me feel a lot more normal than what I was because her and I, we play with scraps. We love playing with scraps. Oh, I just had to get my scissors. I was doing some fussy cutting while watching the cricket last night and I've got a stack of scissors but of course you just want to use the favourites of the moment. So anyway, Corey makes some amazing stuff and she inspires me every video she does. Um, so you'll see me do a lot of scraps and I'm a bit, bit, bit cautious about it really because 
No Pip, no Pippa, no. On your mat darling, on your mat please. On your mat. Come on, good girl. Production stops because I just have to pat the cat and reassure her that even though she's not sitting in the middle of my work, she is loved. <laughs> She has company. Oh, I said to see there a week or so ago. I'm so glad these animals of ours don't own me. Oh, they are so bossy. Yeah, so anyway, back back to Corey. Corey did a um a collaboration with let's see England Tracy Fox um, Sue Sue from Paper Inspirations of course um, Gail Agon Most I know how to say it in my head well everybody knows Gail um, she's American and Wendy Wendy's journaling Adventure, I think it is. She's Canadian, I think. Um, and she she makes beautiful things. She, and she's be lovely to watch, Wendy. And then, of course, our Sue here. And it was a hashtag. Like, I've never used a hashtag in my life. So I'm, I'm going to be learning things very quickly, girls. And boys. I'm on a steep learning curve. Oh, I know what I was going to do, but I forgot. That's okay. They can't all be the same. And it was um, hashtag getting started. It was about getting started for the year, and it was about using one or all of your initials to um, use your initial to, ma to, in to inspire you to make something. So... Corey and Sue, I've heard both of them say that they're hoping that there's there's others of us around that are going to um, now follow on. So I thought that maybe if I can get it organised, my next video I'll do I'll do a video with um, something from my initials. Uh, I've got a bit of an idea on it and. Um, yeah, so if I can get organised, I think that would be a fun thing to do and a way to support and highlight what Corey put together and what the other ladies did. A brilliant job, and just like as a way to say thank you, support um, them by doing it. <laughs> I'm hoping that um, it's it's not February yet, so we're st we're still getting used to this year. Um, I don't know whether I like that or not. I'm not sure. So, I've just got some words out here, so we might have a look. Now, what I've done, because embarrassingly, I have, oh, Graham's just walked back into the room again. I shouldn't be saying this for him to hear, should I? Although I don't know why I say that here. Never once. I think the only thing that worries him is, is when I have too much stuff around me. It's like, don't put it on the floor, Vic. Because you're going to trip over it. And I am quite clumsy these days. So he does have a valid point. So what I've done is, is just in front of me to my left... I have um, like a mini set of shelves. It's got one, two, three. So with the bottom one and the one at the top, there's four shelves on it. So I've taken out a selection of stamps, and I've put them on the shelf on the shelving. I've done the same with die cuts, and I've done the same with stencils, with words. Um, with things I use and then over to the left of me I've rearranged because I have all cube units 
um, you know, the, the um, bookcases with the 12 by 12 cubby holes in them. So I've got two 16s, two 8s, and then I've got a bookshelf, which I have, I have a lot, girls, it's crazy. Um, and it's really, don't aspire to what I've done because it just creates a lot of trouble. And I think a lot of it comes from, like I said, recycling. Um, we're, we're kind of at that, that age now where we have a little bit of extra money in our old age sort of thing. So, you know, like, we've gone from battlers to just being okay sort of thing. And... Um, And Graham, I'm very lucky because Graham does lots of things and he needs lots of supplies too. So I think the pair of us enable each other. We don't give each other discipline, that's for sure. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just got right off topic and rambling, sorry. What I've done is, is I've taken a selection of, of things and I've... I've just used a bit of fabric glue for that. You see my natty little thingy here? I'd never seen them before. I, my friend bought me that. They're gorgeous. You just stick your things in it and you know where they are all the time. Very good. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> I love it. So, anyway, if you're like me and you can't get organised, just have near you a selection of different things and know that that's what you're going to use and then after a couple of months or if you're using them quite a bit with your stamps or your dies just take just take the time to rotate them and that way you're getting to use everything you've got and it's like having something new all the time because if we use just from from our what's in front of us for a couple of months we might think oh I'm sick of the look of them it's okay because you can then put them away and bring out a few others and so on and so forth and by the time you get back around to where you started they're new again does that make sense so that's how I've organized so I've reclaimed three cubes over to my left because like I said I love to play with scraps it's it's my favorite thing to do but I just get in such a mess that it was starting to just do my head in literally so I've rearranged things I've taken some things out of the cubes and I've got my scraps in little containers so I'm hoping I'm hoping now I can um, just grab the containers. This is like map folding, isn't it? I've got little containers there, so I'm really, really hoping that when I want to play with scraps, I can just get the little containers off the shelf. and then use them and then just put the little containers back on the shelf again and not have to spend two, day, two days cleaning up what I've been doing because that's typically what happens when so just use I love this little serviette, napkin. Serviette and napkin are the same thing. It's just that um, different countries call them different things. So that's my little bag that we're getting a card for. Now I don't want that hard edge there, do I? Mm. 
I'm just going around and cleaning up the edge because I'm not I don't want to do too much on this index card because the whole point is for it to be a journaling card put too much on there and it's not going to be much use as a journaling card is it okay we'll see how we went on that one so I want to sit it a little bitty there now do I want the eggs or do I want the red flower so I'll have the red or will we have the nest I think we might go to the nest on this one because the flowers don't match the ones, these red ones don't match the roses on the on the front. Oh, I wonder how everybody else is starting off their new year that's like a new year we don't know what it's going to bring us I kind of like I've all learnt that there are knowns and there is unknowns I think we need to revisit Alan Gore's um, speech he did on knowns and unknowns <laughs> I thought it might have had something I always thought it had something to do with climate change but it's not long ago since I've heard it. I'd have to go back. You know the one where he goes, there are knowns and there are unknowns. And the unknowns are unknown and the knowns are known. <laughs> it, it sounds really crazy, but it's actually really, really very clever. Um, but yes, the last couple of years have taught us that uh, don't you're not quite as in control as what you thought you were, people. Um, life is a gift not a guarantee and I was hoping that it would have taught us all to get along to share and be kinder and, and I think to to most people's credit that has happened but it has also brought out the ugly in humanity so anyway enough of that I'm just wondering how you are approaching your new year um, I don't make resolutions anymore because I don't think I've ever kept one um, but I do have I'm a list person I make I make lists of um, hence my notebooks that's how they started I'd always have that near me um, couldn't be without it everywhere I went um, and if I had that and I'm still the same actually I've got a phone that I could use to look up things and I do but if I've got my little book there to write notes on um, I'm happy I make lists and I've got to write I've found now that my head is just full of so many different ideas um, I'm, I'm finding it hard my body's finding it hard to keep up with with my um, creative brain so I'm writing lists but I think something else that I've come to learn, I used to be really, really hard on myself. I probably still am to some degree. But if, it, if something got written on that list, whether or not it was a good idea or if you found out after a while, you realise that that's not such a bad idea, such a good idea, or I put it on there and I don't really have time to finish it and... I, I, to my detriment, I, once it went in the notebook, that was it. It, it had to be done. There was no negotiating once it hit the paper. But I have come to learn that you really, really don't have to be like that. 
use your ideas book and your list book as exactly that like I mean we're going to have must do lists that just do with life but on the creative side of things on the on the yeah just on things that you think you'd like to make or you thought it was a good idea at the time it's actually okay just to go you know what I did write that down but I don't need to do that now or it's not such a good idea um, that was interesting I just first time that's ever happened the tea dye come around so there's my little birdie and I you should really wait until the glue dries but I'm impatient I want it done usually I'm not an impatient person I'm very patient in some areas some areas I think sometimes I'm too patient and then other times I've just like, you know, put your head in there. So this is probably more about, so all you need is good heart. A good heart. Oh, I your soul practice on. I think we might go with this one because it does say art at the front. Now these are Marimi um, Small Art Marta. These are from her um, line, product line. And I've had them, I don't know, a couple of years now. Um, quite a while. And it's, I can't use them. When I use them, they'll be gone. I was like, then I won't have any. <laughs> it's like, but if you don't use them, eventually they're going to deteriorate. And what's the point of having them if you're not going to use them? So yeah, my, my brain's a bit funny like that. So that is one thing I am going to get over this year. And I am going to start using all the lovely things that I've got. And things do perish. Um, stickers perish I don't know about these ones they haven't yet and I've had them a fair while but mediums you know like it, it, it will all dry up you know it's it's got a good shelf life but they need to be used but there's some things that just don't last so we need to be using them Okay, so we've got all that side and we've got this side here and I think the little birdie looks quite nice, doesn't it? Now that's very simple, easy to do, just glue sticking up a portion, a segment of a, a serviette out and sticking some words on it. That's been tea dried, dyed, that index. But what I like to do, for two reasons now, I've got this ink of gold and I've had it for a fair while and I forgot to put the glad wrap back in it so I don't help myself and it's getting really, really hard. Um, so I, I want to get some um, gilding wax. I think it's one that Sue used and she said that she's had hers for years. Um, and it hasn't dried up so I thought I might try that next but I do want to try and use up the things that I've paid money for I'm not saying Inca Gold's a bad product I actually like it but I think given the amount that I use I need something that's got a little bit better and they're, they're different products as well so I don't want to compare the two together but this still gives me gold colour and I just thought I might try something different next time but now I've started to use it I really really like it 
I do. Um, get those things out and get the lids off them. I don't want this all the way around. I just want... I know that took me far too long to do, but chatting and <laughs> talking and doing at the same time. It's almost above my pay grade now being able to do that. And that's that. Yeah, my bits and pieces. So I'm quite happy with that. How are we going for time? Oh my goodness, I've been an hour. Um, I am going to try and... Uh, be a little bit quicker but today and and I might what I might do is is speed up you know like but I can't today because there's things that we were talking about so I've run this through the embosser with an embossing folder I don't know if you can see that or not oh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it um, but I will just start with just barely touching just to highlight some of it. Yeah. Just sort of want a hint of it. I haven't labelled this yet, but I'll just call it a chat um, and a catch up. So this is another thing that I do. I do um, collage. I do a lot of collage. I don't do collages that you end up with a picture at the end of it. Um, I'll show you another day. So scraps and bits and pieces. I just have a piece there ready to go um, for when I do... So what have I got in here? So I've got bags and bags and tags and tags. <laughs> um, these are printables, I believe. And I really do apologise profusely to the person who did those. Um, so are tags ready to go. So there's just a real little variety. Like here's a... I love this one. This one's beautiful. So that one was just a napkin, and that's that's looking for a, a home for it. And so this is this is one of my collage tags. So that's that's kind of what I do. So I've collaged, and then I've sewn around it, and then I've stamped it, and put a bit of stenciling on it. So I do quite a bit after and I've just sewn on that one side and then I've just backed it with some coffee dyed paper. So that one can go in the I'm done bin. And all the, all of these will go toward, I can actually count these as number one in my 100 makes. So that's what we might do. That's another one that just needs finishing off. So. Yeah, this is, this is just a little basket with all odds and ends in it, just just waiting for me to to need to quietly sit and do some stuff. Um, I, I've just I'm mindful of, of how long I've been, and I do realise the only thing I have done is this today. I do um, no, I'm not going to apologise for being so slow. I was just basically playing, so I can tell you that. Hi, I'm back. I didn't forget that I was supposed to come back. We just had technical issues. So, um, I think given that it's the hour now and I'm 
think just starting to repeat myself. I'm checking my list. Okay. I think we might end it there. Um, there is a business Facebook set up for me. Um, I would love if, if you've played along with me and sat and had a chat with me, listened to me. Um, you're not normally going to get this much talking in my videos. I just had a bit to say today about what's happening moving forward. Um, thank you for your company. I appreciate it. Um, leave a comment below and tell me how you got on with your play and I'm looking here it is here here it is here I'll just sit that there I'll take it back I'll take it up a bit for you so that you can get a screenshot of that and perhaps pop along to both these girls Facebook page and the web shop the YouTube video with Sue and it might be someone new to you and you might get some ideas from there. So from next time, from my house to all of you, I wish you health and peace and encourage every one of us to be kind to the person that's standing next to us. Alright everybody, take care. Bye.